All right, we're going to be starting chapter two with patterns. Okay, first thing we have to discuss is a little terminology here. Conjecture, one of the neat words we get to see and say in geometry, basically means an educated guess. You know, there are uh, other more official um, definitions for it, but that's what I call it, just an educated guess. You're just using your noggin to figure out the best answer to what the pattern is showing you. A counter example is an actual example that proves your conjecture false. And we'll talk about that a little bit down at the bottom here. Okay, so now a conjecture educated guess. If we see the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, we obviously think that 5 is next. That's our conjecture. We just follow the pattern. Our next one, we have a pattern that says 1, 1 half, 1 quarter, 1 eighth, and we're saying, you know what? It looks Okay, they always have ones on top. We have a two on the bottom, a four on the bottom, an eight on the bottom. What's happening there? We're doubling the denominator. So therefore, we would come up with a conjecture of one over 16 would be our conjecture on that one. The next problem, we have a one, negative four, nine, negative 16. Well, when we look at it, hopefully you see the pattern. Number one thing, it goes positive, negative, positive, negative so it makes sense that our next one would be positive now as far as the numbers go hopefully you recognize th these are perfect squares this is one squared is one two squared is four three squared is nine four squared is sixteen so therefore five squared is twenty five and it's positive because it's positive's turn the next one would be negative thirty six which is six squared and the negative positive pattern would follow. Our next one, this is actually called Fibonacci's number. Okay, you have a one and then a one, and then two, three, five, and we're like, hmm, how do we get to the next one? Well, here's what you do on this one. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight. And our next one that we're not showing here, 5 plus 8, would be, yep, you got it, 13. Okay, so here now we're looking at a conjecture. It's always sunny in Decatur. Well, it seems like it, especially in the summer, but, uh, you know, you could just say a counterexample. Well, wait a minute, last week it was cloudy or rainy. We could actually said that on Monday. It was really storming on Monday. So, therefore, our conjecture is false. We found a counterexample to make our conjecture false. Okay, another conjecture. The opposite of an integer is a negative integer. Well, that's not always true because if you start with a negative integer, then its opposite would be a positive. So that would be our counter example. Now, we'll also have th some things where we talk about drawing pictures. Okay, it'll just say ABCD is a rectangle. So you draw yourself a rectangle and you label it ABCD. Now, I do want you to note that a, B, C, D goes around the horn just as you're drawing it. You follow that pattern. You can't go A, B, and then put your C over here and your D there. Then that doesn't work with what you've been told. All right, we are done here. So, talk to you later. Bye.